It's 513 this morning, and of course, we're asking, where's the money? March is Women's History Month, so we've been talking about financial issues and how they specifically impact women. Today, we're talking about interest rates. The Federal Reserve raises the interest rate, that raise, and that raise applies to lending, banks, lending between banks and usually impacts things like buying a home or car. Now, according to CNBC, individual banks will then use the federal rate to set their own. That's where credit cards come in. Card issuers were ad advertised credit cards at interest rates several percentage points above indi individual bank rates. So here's what it means for you. As the Fed increases interest rates, your credit card interest rates may re raise as well. Here's a Charlotte-based money coach on how you might be able to pay debt down. In particular, I would also ask all women to look at opening a high-yield savings account because um, on the opposite side, interest rates are high for uh, savings accounts right now. So what is a high yield savings account? Let's go over the pros and cons with a breakdown from CNBC. The major advantage here is a higher interest rate. So your money grows faster while it sits in the account, but there can be a trade off. These accounts come with, can come with starting deposits, minimum balance requirements, and even monthly fees. So make sure you shop around and read the fine print. Another pro, though, you can use high yield accounts just like you would a regular savings account. You can usually withdraw or transfer money several times a month. Ben, Sarah, I'm really happy that we're going over all of these financial tips, especially with all the stories that we've been doing on inflation and how hard it is to keep up. Yeah, great advice, Keith. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks.